And now, a compact, folding, electronically controlled, motor-driven, single-lens reflex camera capable of focusing from infinity down to 10 inches has been developed to exploit integral self-processing film units, which when exposed are automatically ejected from the camera with no parts to peel or discard, and whose final images emerge without timing in daylight where the viewer can see them materialize within the same transparent, protective plastic cover through which the film was originally exposed. Hey everyone, it's been a minute since we've did a film camera review. And the last camera we reviewed was the Tascam Polaroid. Today we're going to review the Polaroid SX70 Land Camera Sonar One Step. Oh yeah, baby! This thing came out in the late 70s. I want to say 1978. Uh, so coming on 50 years of having this gem of a camera. Not me. I am nowhere near 50, but its existence right so this camera has been out for a hot minute uh, one would call it a relic right it's ancient it's vintage it's everything the hipsters want these days so it's a super cool camera uh, now I, this is not a review kind of video this is more like an experience how I experienced the camera in the past week uh, I've had it for a couple months but really just threw it in and started using it uh, in the past couple weeks so super cool folds down like this Boom, look at that. You can throw this in your like purse, your bag, your backpack, your book bag, your anything that can safely store it really. Uh, so, and then you just open it up like this. You pull the back and it opens up and then you lock it and pop it right there. Uh, so it's super cool. I think I got film in there. I do have film in there, so ooh, cool. Uh, to use it, that's, I mean, it's pretty functional. Uh, half press, and then you get the fo the focus going on. Full press, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna waste a shot. That's like $5 for a instant photo, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then right over here, uh, I'm just gonna make sure this camera is looking at it. And then you get the light meter going on right here. Uh, if you want it darker, you just throw it in the black. And if you want it lighter, throw it on the side of the white wheel. Very simple. While using this camera, we, my wife and I, we walked around Grant Park, took a couple photos, not too many, and then we also walked around downtown and took a couple photos there, a little POV style, and uh, with a friend, we walked in Midtown and did a couple frames of her and her new apparel, so it was cool. Uh, didn't really come out the way that I wanted to, but that's all right, and then also uh, had a wedding this past weekend and shot some photos of the couple there. I was only associate shooting, so I wasn't trying to do too much going on. I was focused on video, and so I didn't really take too many Polaroids. So, uh, more about this camera. We're gonna talk about the design of this camera, and it's fairly simple. It's covered in this leather around and this like solid metal body and even just opening everything and the mechanics just feel smooth. Um, and it's not too much going on uh, in regards of design. It's very simple, very subtle, and just practical. And it just works as a Polaroid instant camera. In the back of it, you have the shutter count. And on the bottom of it, you have this thread at the bottom to mount it to something. Whether I used a strap, so I had it on my waist around my waist the whole time during the wedding and uh, you can even set it on a tripod for a more still shot some more details about the camera let's talk about the glass it's a four element glass it delivers sharp vibrant photos and through the viewfinder you get this full frame kind of setup so that way you get to see your subject and all that you're capturing in its full frameness um, new word that I just came up with. So a few more specs about the Polaroid SX70. Of course, you're gonna wanna use SX70 film or that is the only film compatible with the Polaroid SX70 line of cameras. You're gonna look out for, of course, SX and 70 on the package of film. Uh, the color ones are this red box and they do have black and white ones as well sold by Polaroid itself. The lens is a four element 116 millimeter f8 glass lens the aperture is a variable aperture with range from f8 to f22 shutter speed is automatic electronic shutter with range from 1 175th 
of a second to 14 seconds. The focus is the focus system used is a sonar autofocus system with range from 10 to 0.4 inches to infinity and beyond. Viewfinder is a full frame viewfinder with manual focusing aids. So when you're looking through it, you get a little help. Nothing too crazy. I do recommend this camera for those that want to experience analog and instant film photography. It's not a camera that delivers the most and the best quality out there, of course, when it comes to Polaroids. Regarding the film frames that I captured, a few of them were from a wedding and that was up in Alabama. And it was a nice, pretty day, really sunny day, but it was just some of the focus wasn't on point that I wanted. I didn't know if that was down to just user error or whatnot, but some of the frames were just a little out of focus that I'll also share. This one was one of my favorite from the wedding. It was just these two girls running down the steps uh, to the dance floor, and I thought that was really cool. And the lake just in the background as well. And this was the bride and groom. Again, just a little out of focus, and I got the background really in focus, so it was just kind of odd. Here they are on the footsteps of the house, and again on the steps of the house. Here we're walking around um, midtown, or sorry, downtown, and just capturing some photos of the area. And so it was a good time. We were just walking around enjoying it. I don't know what happened to the frame on the outside of this. It looked like it was just kind of damaged or something. And then of course you wanna be still when taking photos with this camera because the blurriness can happen um, pretty easily. When we were walking around Midtown with my buddy Caden, he was taking the photos and I was just doing some like BTS video and I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was just a film that was just bad or I don't know what was going on with the photos. They just weren't coming out and maybe we just weren't properly exposing them. And then here, my wife and I just walked around Grand Park for two frames and um, was just enjoying the area. Thanks everyone for watching this video of my experience with the Polaroid SX-70 the past week. It was a good time. People really enjoyed seeing the camera in person. They thought it was really cool and unique. And the shots that I got were just different and a cool experience to capture in a different medium. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Let me know if there's any particular cameras that you want me to be like, hey, get that camera and use it. Something like that. Eh, I'll try to find the camera. And uh, I'll try to be more consistent on making some more film camera reviews or experiences with it and sharing photos. See you.